10 tonight, a two news TV exclusive. The BYU grad who told thousands he's gay at a school convocation. Now he's heard pro and con about his announcement. Kyle Harvey is on our top story tonight. And Kyle, why did he say what he did when he said it? Brian, he told me that he came to the conclusion that he was gay while he was attending BYU, but very few people at the school knew that. He consulted several trusted advisors and then decided to go for it on the biggest stage of his life. Not many people are given a platform where they can speak in front of all of their peers and, you know, these peers' families. Not many people have graduated college with a 4.0. Matt Easton earned his degree in political science and deeply enjoyed doing it. Overall, on, on the day-to-day, -day, my experience at BYU has been quite wonderful. He's done research projects, studied abroad, internships, sang in an a cappella group, there's only one thing Matt hadn't done at BYU. I've never come out publicly before. I had to, only my close relatives and my close friends, not even, you know, all my family knew. They were about to. Tasked by the school with writing a speech that was a celebration for all, he made a choice. Friday morning was when the world would be. That I felt another triumph. That of coming to terms, not with who I thought I should be, but who the Lord has made me. As such, I stand before my family, friends, and graduating class today to say that I am proud to be the gay son of God. Absolutely, I was nervous, yeah. Um, I'm still a little nervous about it. You know, there's people who are telling me I went too far, people telling me I didn't go far enough. Ultimately, I feel like I just had to do what felt right to me. He's still figuring out what feels right in the long term. By itself, being gay is not in conflict with the teachings of the LDS Church. But having a homosexual relationship is. Can he live the life he wants as a gay Latter-day Saint? There comes a point in time where you know I have to start thinking about these questions. You know, am I going to get married? Am, am I going to have children? What What are these pressures that my family and my parents want for me to do? You know, are they a reality for me? Um, so some pretty hard questions, and I don't have the answers to all of them. For today, though, he says his newfound support network is enough to get started. I just felt more support from such a large body than I think I ever have before. And I, I think that everyone deserves to have that feeling. Matt tells me his speech was approved in its entirety by the school leadership before he delivered it. He told me that four years ago when he was there as a freshman, he could not have imagined a speech like that being given, being approved, and that he would be the one giving it. Live downtown, Kyle Harvey, 2 News.